what's going on my beautiful people welcome back to another hair tutorial here on my channel putting up with the pompons i am shante the mother of the three beautiful pompon sisters here on this channel and we do a little bit of everything here but we mainly focus on hair care our hair maintenance and our hair routine so these past couple of weeks i have been wearing these box braids i crocheted half of them or majority of them in and just the perimeter have been regular just box braids in this video i want to show you guys a more up-to-date video on my hair wraps how I wear my hair wraps how I style them and you know I'm just gonna give you a little bit of the tea on how I do it and if you want to see the tutorial on how I install these of course I will leave the link down below in the description box and I'll also pop it up right here at the top corner one of my beautiful ladies here had commented on one of my videos saying that she purchases her head wraps from like a craft store Hobby Lobby a fabric store I'm sorry and I I picked up this tie-dye one this like sage color looking one which green has definitely been my color this year and guess what y'all I also picked up a freaking burnt orange okay now I have a burnt orange now I ordered a yard each um I probably could have went with half of a yard but I don't even know if they sell them by half a yard I'm having to cut it in half because this thing was like the size of a blanket. And so anything that says like knit or ribbed, um, stretchy, those are the material you're going to want to purchase. So I'm going to be using this one because I didn't cut the other two in half. You can see it's already kind of like fraying a little bit because it's raw material, okay? So that probably may be a downside to it in the long run. I don't know if it'll last like longevity wise. If you're not too keen on going to a fabric store, you're just okay purchasing some regular hair wraps. That's perfectly fine too because I'm, I'm that girl too. I'll also leave the link down below on the other hair wraps that I've purchased off of Amazon. Very inexpensive and they come in like literally every freaking color under the sun. I'll show you five styles and the first one is going to be a low ponytail style all right so here is my ponytail holder and i cut it because it makes it easier to just tie this around the base of the ponytail versus trying to like pull it i'm gonna show you i'm gonna show you and then, um i'm gonna do a little side part because i love side parts i'm from the 90s and i was raised on side parts and i shall never um get rid of my side part okay side part to the day i die all right so here we go as you can see i'm tying it right here boom and then bring it around and tie it right there underneath boom you can bring it back around again just for extra security boom part going on and now I'm gonna take my rod and I'll place it right on my head just like this and boom just like that we have finished look number one so this is my low ponytail i like to call this one like my housekeeping look because this is exactly what i do with my hair when i need it just out of my face because i'm either wrestling kids or wrestling a broom and a mop all right now that we are done with the first style let's get into look number two so the second look is going to be the twisted crown and i call it a twisted crown because it literally looks like a a twisted knotted crown on top of your head so kind of gives like a halo effect I'm gonna go ahead and bring the material over the top of my head like a headband but we're not gonna bring it all the way down like we did with the first look this time I'm gonna tie it in the back please be careful with this stretchy material you can make it too tight and you'll be walking around lightheaded and we don't want you to lose consciousness trying to look cute so now I'm gonna take the two strands and all I'm gonna do is bring them to the front and twist them into each other like I'm about to tie a knot just like that and then I'm gonna take one side and pull this up and just twist it into each other like I'm doing like a two strand twist until I get to the end and then this piece is just gonna be tucked in in the back the same thing on this side and boom there we go like five minutes you can't argue with me okay and this is it 
And I like, as you can see where my hair is all down, cause just like this nice cascade of braids behind this beautiful halo crown that I have going on now. And yeah, super easy look. I love to do this when I'm, when I'm running errands because again, it keeps the braids out of my face, but I also look like I put some effort into this look. Yep. So there we have it for our look number two, guys. So we're gonna move into one of the ponytail hairstyles. And this one's not too difficult. The only difficulty I have with it really is just trying to get my hair into the ponytail, okay? I'm gonna have to get up because ain't no way I'm gonna be able to pick up 60 braids and then we, we're not gonna even try to do that. So I like to bring them all forward. Now I'm going to get my wrap. Now this one is the Poetic Justice one. Very easy. Now I'm going to bring it all up in the back. I'm going to bring it around the front, right? And then I'm going to crisscross it. Don't tie it just yet. Bring it around the base of the ponytail to the back. It's going to cry a little finesse in a little bit. Tie it back here in a knot. Boom. Push the braid back. Oh, hallelujah. Okay. Bring them to the front again, tie it in another little twist. Boom. And then you can kind of do it as tight as you like once you're up here. Down here is where I recommend not pulling it too tight because you can definitely pull your edges. We don't want to strain our edges. We, we, can't, we take care of the edges. Then bring it around the back again. And do a loose knot and then tuck whatever you have left. Poetic Justice. She's always a classic. Okay, you can never go wrong with a Poetic Justice head wrap. And that's very simple. Boom, there you have it. Your high ponytail with your Poetic Justice braids acting up. Mm-hmm. Somebody called Janet right now. I feel like a whole newbie and queen when I wear a Poetic Justice wrap. But that's it for look number three. Go ahead and get into a look number four. Now this one it's gonna be a play on what we've already done here with the ponytail, but I'm gonna add a side swoop in there because we fancy. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is take a couple of pieces over here off to the side, take them right on out the ponytail. One right there, five, and I think that's, that's good for the side swoop, yeah. That looks good. Okay, so I took out about five braids. And I'm gonna bring it around town, so tuck it into, if I can get my hands through it, the ponytail holder. Cover that back up. Just like that. So that's holding our side swoop. We pulled it up into the ponytail holder and now the braids are covering up the ends. Jesus, flip flopping Christ. Come on, baby. Come on, we, we got a few more minutes. Work with me. From the back and bring it around the front. Now this time, I'm just going to braid it on down into two twists. And then once I get to the end, I like to kind of fold it into the, uh, open up one of them and kind of, that way we have just one piece to worry about. I'm gonna twist it up and then bring it around to make a little bantu knot in the front. And there we have a top knot with a pony. She's caught. Isn't she not? And that's it for look number four. All right, now for the last look of the day, we're gonna do a bun. Yes, I'm gonna manage to put this all this hair into a bun, and we're gonna try to wrap it around it. We're gonna wrap the wrap around the bun. Bring it around. So, and I'm gonna try to manage to get it as neat as possible. It doesn't really matter because we are gonna be wrapping a scarf around it, but we wanna try to get it as neat as possible. Boom. Wrap that all up in there. Okay. You I'm gonna take my wrap and I'm gonna open her completely up. Hopefully this is enough material now that I don't cut it in half. We're gonna find out. I'm gonna bring her over my braids. Make sure the back is covered is most important. 
right okay then bring her forward and tie her up the scarf smells like Hobby Lobby and then pull her tight oh we got one strand that decided to make it out see we got this little piece right here I'm gonna try to tuck it up in it boom pull it a little tight because we do have stretchy material so it shouldn't hurt it All right and then bring it back around tie it in the back Then bring it back around the front again. Tie it. Oh, Jesus. And then tuck it. Somehow. Tuck it somehow, okay? Get it up in there somehow. Feels like a whole bird's nest on top of my head, but that's okay. That's okay. Here we are with the entire hair up into a bun and now we have a bird's nest. It actually feels a little bit more controlled now that the head wrap is over it. Ooh, let me not do that. I get myself whiplash, okay? I have neck problems for days. Pay no attention to my BDBs back there, but for the most part, this is it. Look at number five. We are all done, guys. We made it. This is pretty much it, guys. Um, thank you guys for joining us on another hair wrap tutorial. I hope this was helpful. I hope you guys learned something new. If you didn't, I'm glad you watched and enjoyed me, you know, tearing up my head because now it's time for a shower. I'm definitely about to leave my hair up in this bun at this point because it's time for bed. Okay, I'm glad I made this one the last style to show y'all. So I greatly appreciate having y'all. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button if you are new to our channel. And to all of my returning subscribers, hey, mama. Thank you, boo. I hope you be good now. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. We will see y'all on another one. Be blessed and be safe.